back to AJ's Vape Shack, guys. Um, today we are going to do a starter dripper. Um, I can't see. Thank you, there I am. So we're going to do uh, this is the Terminator starter kit. All right, it's a starter dripper. Um, we're going to quickly open it up to show you what we get, show you how to wick it up, um, and see if it's worth buying. Let's have a look. So in the box, you get your little box rod, just that, nice. it's actually pretty cool. Little button on the back there, pretty, pretty nifty isn't it? Um, take the outside off, there you've got your single uh, 18650 battery in there. Um, what else you get in here? Your ch a charging lead, I'm guessing. Um, instructions. Um, this is a lot of instructions in many languages. So it will tell you how to use it. Um, you can turn it on and off. Um, it says charging. You can use the USB charger to charge the device. Make sure always you check that. Sometimes um, you can't, and they're just for data leads. Um, but on this one, you can. I'll put it back together. So, no matter what language you're using, guys, it seems to be they have got your backs on that one. Um, that's pretty cool. I'll, leave, I'll just leave that aside down here. You're going to close the lid, I'm going to turn it over. And then the bottom comes off as well. You got yourself a goodie bag. You've got a rings galore in there, haven't you? Um, so you've got some nice coals in it. Yeah. Wow. Just like for a starter, you've got some nice coals. It looks like clapping coals to me, doesn't it? <clears throat> you've got two clapping coals in there, I'm guessing. We're going to use those. Um, you know, as you know, that's what you get in this, that's what we're going to start with. Um, screwdriver. And you get spare post pins but these post pins normally are allen key aren't they these are actually crosshead which is different i've never seen that before Neither have I. so that's quite cool um and on the bottom is your starter dripper um it's in there tight <laughs> i can't even get it out jesus there you go where's your Little RDA. It's got a cool top on it. That's it's, it's really cool. <clears throat> Look at that. Nice little airflow. Comes obviously a part in three parts. Um, pretty good actually. Got pretty good airflow in there. Similar to like the tsunami and stuff like that. The post holes are pretty good. Nice and blocky. Pretty decent. Um, so we're going to go down um, and show you how to wick this up, guys. Okay. So if you've got one of these and you're starting out to drip. Um, we're going to show you how to do it and follow us and you should be able to do it right. right so go. here's your dripper guys, um, all ready to go. Take your top off, set that aside, um, anywhere here, it's fine, just put it out of the way. Take the other part off, okay, and there is your, um, your post holes. Um, and your dripper. Um, I haven't got a battery in here at the moment, but we'll put one in there after we put these coils in. So we're going to use these. You can see the two um, coils that are in these two just here and here. We're going to use those. You're going to need to use the screwdriver as well. So this is what you're going to do. On the side, just here, you can see um, inside there are your screws. So you're going to unscrew and what you want to do is unscrew until it's nice and open. Okay, you see that? Nice and open, just there. All right, so I'm going to do it with all four. The coils, okay, if you haven't used coils before, all right, they're um, they're staggered, okay, top and bottom. So you want to put them in one in the top and one down the bottom. All right, so there's one in there and one in there. There's your airflows, guys. So you want to kind of get it over your airflow. Okay. Um, where am we going? There. <laughs> we're going to try and get over your airflow. All right. So you get the most um, 
the best airflow over your cottons. Tighten up one side. All right. Then manipulate it a tiny bit. And then screw in the other side. Just like that. And then you don't want it touching the bottom. Just lift it up just a bit. So it's up. Okay. Just like that. All right, once you've done that, get yourself some clippers and clip the legs off. You don't need them anymore. You don't need that anymore. Right, so same again, second one. There you go. So we've done that. So we've got our cot bacon again today. Um, would use Kendo vape, but for, you know, this is obviously aimed at kind of the uh the newbie kind of dripper um so nice long bit i'm going to cut this in half because we don't we only need half of the length so it looks like a smart bit of kit as well Adam. it looks brilliant so far and hopefully it vapes just as well so pinch the corner of this poke him in if you can't get them all the way through, just grab with your fingers, just get a pair of tweezers, pliers, pliers? No, don't get pliers, they're too big. Yeah, some needle nose um, pliers actually would be pretty good. But just like that, nice and easy. Um, so either, either the legs, you know, the same length, and then do exactly the same on the other side. Just roll it up, twist it in your fingers for the, just to get the end part in, stuff it in the hole. And pull it through nice and easy um, now if you make this leg the same you'll be able to see if this one's too long which is so we can tell that we don't want that much so I normally snip off just the bit where you twizzled because that's where you pinched it it's a bit you know too tight for any juice to really seep into them parts um, so there you go, that's that. So what we're gonna do now um, is you're gonna grab the ends of your cotton and you're gonna flip it over and push it underneath. Um, you wanna watch out for this part here. This is your um, air hole um, and same on the other side. So you don't wanna get any of the cotton covering your air holes. One, because it'll restrict your airflow. And two, if you get any juice in there, it might drip down, drip into your airflow and you'll, um, you'll start leaking everywhere. Um, so just make sure that they're nice and free and clear um, and I must say the juice well on this is pretty big so I reckon you, can, you, you should be able to get a good bit of juice in this what I do is um, just to show you underneath here is a closed gap when I put my juice in I'm going to stick this underneath and squash the wick down so you've got some airflow going underneath your coils just to make sure otherwise you get a really crackly noise and it's not that nice is it um but we will um juices up really quickly for you get that in there adam lovely bit of kit lovely lovely look bit at that that's lovely awesome that's seeping down there nicely Make sure you get every single part of your wick nice and juiced up. But do not forget about the coils itself. Put some juice on the coils because that means if there's any cotton in the middle, it's not dry. And you won't burn off your cotton straight away. Okay? So make sure you get your, you know, it's all nice and juicy. For, especially the first time, don't you? You want it really nice and juicy. Um, just push the, co the cotton in so it's away from the edge um, otherwise the top will pinch it smells amazing right there you go so like I said what I, I know click underneath push that down so I've got some good airflow underneath this and same again underneath there okay 
Now I'm trusting this. Um, I didn't fire pre-fire off these um, coils because it came with the pack. So I'm trusting that one battery for those coils should be suffice. Now in here you've got a minus and a plus. So upside down it is. Put it back on and it sh we should fire. There we go. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Right guys, so we're going to go back up top and um, vape it. See you in a minute. Okay, so we're good to go. Um, it's that easy. That's all you need to do. Um, buy some preset coils, bang them in. Um, wick it up, easy as, takes two minutes. Um, and let's see how it vapes. That's pretty damn good. Um, the airflow is big on, you know, open hold. No, that's fully open. This. Even on two, you get brilliant airflow in this. Look at them laughs. Look at that. That's a, just, a, just one 18650 batteries. Normally comes about four and a half volts, I think. Um, I like that. Good little bit of kit brilliant, for a start. Brilliant for a start, little start, kit. start Absolutely little kit. fantastic. Um, Tesla SIGs, guys. Um, it's called the Starter Kit. Terminator Star Starter Kit. Um, that is an... <coughs> right, <man. coughs> you bet that dry? <coughs> no, I didn't actually. No? No, it's tickled my throat. That's amazing. That is a brilliant little bit of kit. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you want to know um, any more information. Babe,